This video is about the fabulous flying samurai. But first, let's review some history. In the beginning, there was man. Then man discovered boats. Following boats, birds and wings. And man loved birds and wings. Then in just two million years, man discovered how to use wings to make boats fly. These were called hydrofoils, and soon there were great lumbering beasts that roamed the seas. But as man's brain developed, so did hydrofoils, becoming more compact, more agile, more fun. And now, taking off from Japan, the fabulous Flying Samurai. This incredible hydrofoil goes 24 miles per hour on just two horsepower. Look closely, you are about to witness in-flight foil retraction. Let's look in stop motion. The central takeoff foil is spring-loaded and retracts at the pilot's command. For you techies, here is the classic lift formula, showing 8 mile per hour takeoff with 5 degrees angle of attack on the foils. Then 60% of the area is retracted at 17 miles per hour and 2 degrees. The top speed is 24 miles per hour with 0 degrees angle of attack. Observe the two fast stops. The unplanned fall onto the surface is orderly and safe. The pilot remains upright and there is no damage. Okay, here's a question. Why doesn't Samurai fall over? Simply put, Samurai steers and controls roll with its front foil. The side force of the turning foil causes the craft to rotate around a line passing through both the center of gravity and the center of lateral resistance, that is, the rear foil. If this line is vertical, turning the front foil will cause mostly yaw forces. But if the line is more horizontal, there will be more rolling force than yawing force. So the location of the center of gravity is critical for a balance between steering and roll control. And 
let's take a few moments to observe the flight characteristics of this sophisticated machine. Do you see the tiny arm trailing from the front strut? That is called a surface follower, and it controls lift so the bow remains at a relatively constant height. When accelerating from zero, the surface follower is at its highest. It is linked to the front foil and commands the foil to maintain the highest angle of attack. This creates the greatest lift. As the bow rises, less angle of attack and less lift is commanded. The rear foil follows, just as the feathers of a weather vane trail the wind. In conclusion, let's return to evolution for a moment. Kataro Horiuchi's Yamaha boats were often revolutionary. This early skull's front foil not only regulated height, but the independently moving ailerons controlled roll as well. This pioneer depended on three points of lift for lateral balance and on pilot stick control for height. The three foil system limited banking and turning radius. The manual height control limited speeds. So two strut foil systems evolved, along with the various devices for automatically controlling height. You may recognize this sailboat. It was designed in cooperation with the American Greg Ketterman of Hobie Cat fame. Early outboard powered solo boats were soon replaced with two person boats, thought to be more marketable. Passenger carrying larger boats were conceived. In the 1990s, a series of Japanese human-powered boat competitions gave rise to Cogito and Phoenix series of boats. In August of 2000, Super Phoenix traveled at 21.49 miles per hour to set the world record for human-powered boats. These facts, along with much practical knowledge, are available in Kataro's excellent book, locus of a boat designer too. And don't forget to read my book, Hydrofoils Design, Build, Fly. Both books are available at Amazon.com.